as someone who works professionally with animals, I often find myself talking to other people who work in that field. So the in-conversation videos are little clips of me having conversations with people who work with birds of prey, exotic animals, perhaps rescue and conservation work and things like that. In this video, I'm talking to Daniel Holmes, who runs the Knaresborough Exotic Rescue. Okay, Dan from Knaresborough Exotic Rescue. The first question then, can you explain what you're holding there? Yeah, this is Diego. He's an Argentine black and white tegu. Uh, very, very great lizards. Um, they make great, uh, I call them house pets, because uh, when we, before we opened the centre, we used to uh, run the house um, with the cats and dogs, never used to bother them really. He's a, he's a great lizard. I see. Um, how long have you been taking in animals that needed a home or needed help? Uh, we've been taking them in now for about 12 years. Um, we started off very, very minimal, you know, we, we, we started off from a garden shed basically uh, that was heated um, and then it just grew and grew to be honest. There's a lot of uh, reptiles out there that, that need taken in. Mm. Yeah. What's the most common issue you find? Is it people just getting something they thought they knew about and realising they didn't or...? Yeah, I mean the, the common issue is uh, landlords really, uh, is people moving into new properties that aren't allowed pets. Um, and mainly snakes. Um, because there's such unknown about snakes, cats and dogs people know about snakes, not so much so. And, and the more frightened of it are the mm. landlords of, mm. of having a snake in their property. So we do get a lot of mainly snakes in through the door. I see. I suppose to some degree that's understandable. Snakes are good escape artists, which people don't necessarily understand yeah. that actually, but. Um, I can understand that completely, yeah. So how many animals roughly have you currently got in? Any idea? Um, we roughly have uh, just maybe just over 82 animals in at the moment, right. um, varying from uh, a 15 foot reticulated python to uh, two baby little rats, you know. Um, so we've got a lot in. Mm. Um, it's got worse, obviously, over the pandemic. Yeah, of course. And um, you've, you've got the shop here now on the high street in Nairsborough. How long has that been open for? So the, we opened the centre just, um, it's coming up nearly two years now actually, it's gone really quick. Um, we just, because we ran out of space and we take on Ask and Bryant students and, and kids and adults with disabilities. So we wanted a, a bigger area so we can get wheelchairs around, it's better access for them as well. Mm. And uh, of course for the animals, um, we, we've just got too many and we needed a bigger area really. Yeah, yeah. and. Uh, what advice would you give anyone who is interested in owning a snake, a reptile of other kind, or an exotic mammal, anything like that, anything that isn't domestic? Have you got any kind of key advice you'd give them? Yeah, basically research and research. That is it. All you need to do is go to your local uh, reptile shop, um, a well-known one, in, if you want, and, and just ask them about it. Or even just come to us, even if you're not going to adopt an animal off us, we will give you advice on how to house them, how to look after them, and how to feed them. Um, I think that the main thing is people aren't researching enough, and that's why we get a lot in, because some get big, um, some get to about, you know, 20 odd feet in length, if they're, if they're not, you know, they get cold royals when they're Burmese pythons. Mm. It's just silly things like that. If they'd researched, then uh, it would be easier for us as well. Yeah, yeah, and finally, what's, what's the main reason that you do this work? Is it a, a fulfilment thing? Is it? Is there something in particular that inspires yeah, you? Yeah, I mean, the, the reason why I do it is, is mainly, it's not really, because mainly for the animals, obviously, um, we love taking the animals in, um, and we love helping them and making the, getting them to recover, um, but also it's for the community as well. We love seeing the, the faces on the children, the faces on the students when they come in, it's, it's like a different world to them. Mm -hmm. um, and I like to teach them how to handle them. Um, it's a non-profit organisation, so nobody gets anything out of it apart from seeing the animals grow, seeing them become healthier, and seeing the students progress to uni, you know. So yeah. it, that's one of the reasons why we did it. Excellent. Well, thanks for talking to Dan, and best of luck with all the future work you're doing here at the Nairsborough Exotic Rescue. Thank, Thank you. you.